This morning, it's a great joy to be inviting forward Dr. Fred Bonine. He's gonna be sharing with us a stewardship message, a testimony about the work of Vena Dental Clinic. So Dr. Bonine, I would invite you to come forward, please. Let's welcome him. It's good to be home. Once upon a time, Gil Miller preached from this pulpit. Would you really know if God was talking to you? Dick Cheatham preached in the now fellowship hall, translating theologically the Holy Spirit of the Trinity to the word inspiration. Gil would say, would you really know if God was talking to you? Once upon a time, an odd combination of a longtime Methodist, historically Quaker, oral surgeon, and a Jewish Indian orthodontist looked at each other, and the orthodontist said, hey, I'd like to start a clinic for the poor. And the oral surgeon said, hey, I'd like to start a clinic for the poor. The orthodontist said, I don't know where we could have it, but I think I know who we could get to work in it. And the oral surgeon said, I think I know where we could have it. I don't know where we'd get somebody to work in it. Before an ad board meeting of this church, before my excursion into local missionary work, which has left me a member in absentia, my apologies, I turned to Harry Davis, and those of you who will remember Harry knew that, uh, and forgive me with the masks, is Carol here? but uh, Harry was charming. He was a University of Michigan uh, dentist. He was a, a patron in the community. He'd been school board president. And Harry uh, was so close to Vern Hoschel and this church. And before this ad board, I said to Harry, I'm thinking about a dental clinic. What do you think about the, the old parsonage? We were on the long range planning committee for that together. He paused. He had this uncanny ability, and I don't know where the button was, but he could hit this button and his eyes would twinkle at you. He leaned forward, he hesitated, and he said, let's do it. That was in the spring, I think, of 2007. By September of 2007, we had raised a quarter of a million dollars, innumerable contributions in service, commitment, legal. Uh, We got our R2, D2, C3PO, whatever tax thing that is. The architect stepped forward, heating and cooling stepped forward, the men with tools stepped forward. You christen a dental clinic, not with a bottle of champagne on the corner of the building, but with a bottle of fluoridated water 
you don't cut a ribbon, you cut the dental floss, and Congressman Mike Rogers obliged. But with one of our patients, I'm so bad with names, I make my staff wear name tags. I think it's Sally or Susie. I remember her story, 62, widower, lived on $9,000 a year and needed six teeth out in a denture. She would get all her food from cleaners, she would get her essentials from Salvation Army, and she would work to cover her rent and her heating and cooling. She was that patient who we targeted. It is the working poor. Livingston County, one of the most affluent counties in the state of Michigan, a population of about 190,000, has approximately 30,000 who are asset limited, income challenged, employed. They are the invisible. They have toothaches just like you and me. They suffer just like you and me. They have no place to turn. We have persisted doing hundreds of thousands of dollars annually. We run about a $250,000 budget, dollar budget, and the production of dentistry is about 650 a year annually. I thank the board, members of, uh, of our church who have helped serve on that board and help push it forward because we are reaching out. We have expanded to include veterans, creating a program with the University of Michigan to augment our manpower, but more importantly, to teach service mentality. We currently invited a uh, fourth year dental student to sit on the board his last year. He's a uh, reserve major now in the U.S. Army, uh, two tours a door, tour in the Mideast, West Point kid, and he wants to go into his community someday and do something like this. What a better way to learn. I work with the interns. I have my Vena days. I cancel everything and our office is dedicated to serving this population. I've hosted the Oral Surgery Club and had aspiring high aptitudes work for a day. I get to teach, I get to mentor, I get to come with zeal in taking care of these people. There is nothing more rewarding in my life than somebody who has nothing and hugs you and thanks you. These people have nothing. This year, I think I've already done 250,000 in oral surgery services for the poor. I don't say that braggingly because there are days when I have my Vena days, when I come and on the ride in, I'll pick up treats for the staff for giving. I pay them, but I, everybody loves sugar and treats for the interns. And I wept one time that there would be a day I would not be able to do this. So in a time when we help those around us, voices asked me, would I really know? I saw the synergy of human spirit, which in this room we can describe as the church the inspiration from God. And I thank you for your support for Vina as well.